Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Today in this uh, short and easy tutorial, we're gonna be talking about how to make a screen edge pan gesture to rotate uh, the image, uh, which is uh, a soccer ball. So we need to start a new project. But before that, I would like to show you uh, what is a pan. Maybe you ask, okay, what is pan gesture? Pan, you know, screen pan gesture. Uh, we do it uh, always uh, when we, uh, you know, we drag from top to down uh, to uh, be able to change, for example, a screen, uh, you know, brightness or something like this uh, in uh, iOS. And uh, it uh, means you drag from near a uh, object. To it, you know. So uh, here you will see I drag from left side to my ball, and then it will rotate. So that's it. So you drag from the left side. Actually, in uh, here I said that you know drag from left pan gesture, screen pan gesture from left to the object. So. Uh, this is one uh, event that uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, possibility in iOS to deal with that. Okay, so that's it. Uh, let's start uh, to actually jump to the project. Uh, so I start file new project. And I choose single new view app. And I name it iOS Swift. And uh, for example, uh, let me name it a screen pan, actually, a screen edge pan gesture zero one. So Yeah, uh, what we need, uh, yeah, let's uh, start. And uh, you know what we need extra? We need uh, uh, actually a picture uh, in this situation. I uh, it's a soccer ball, uh, so I go to access assets, and uh, then I'll go to Finder. Uh, and I drag my image from Finder inside here. Here you go. Uh, now I have it and I can use it. Then I'll go to Main Storyboard. And in Main Storyboard, I add one image view to my screen. And uh, I'll go to Size. And uh, uh, I make it 200 wide and 200 height. Okay. And uh, now I come back to attributes and I tell it I want to be soccer ball. Okay. So uh, what else I need to do? I need to. Uh, make sure that keep size of this ball same as it is and uh, we add in two constraint and also align it middle horizontally and vertically okay so now this in any situation portrait and landscape it's gonna be in middle also uh, I'm gonna change background so uh, so I select view and here I say background I use green to give uh, you know more feel about the uh, you know soccer even if you want you can add texture of uh, you know grass green grass anyway so let's go to uh, actually first of all I need to call uh, assistant editor and from my suckle bar I select it from here or here uh, not big deal you can control drag and drop it here and here name it uh, 
view image so I have IV outlet uh, uh, with super class UI image and actually at from type of UI image and view image okay so uh, now uh, I'll go to, you know we can close our assistant editor we will go to view controller and in uh, view controller uh, we can start coding to you know save time uh, let me do this. Uh, I say var and I name it screen edge recognizer and uh, from type UI screen edge Yeah, I was waiting for this. Yeah, so it's offer me a pen uh, gesture recognizer, and uh, yeah, I make it optional, and then I'll go to my view did load. Here I just call instance that I just declare top screen edge recognizer and I say it is equal UI screen edge pan gesture recognizer and uh, here I just said okay target self and action action uh, I say selector and this selector will call actually trigger a function from uh, my view controller dot so but I don't have a function yet uh, so I just name it here then I'm gonna declare it uh, rotate ball okay and uh, so uh, also I need to add another variable I uh, name it var q rent radius from type CG float by you know inch, uh, instantiate number 0, 0.0 and uh, also I say okay a screen edge recognizer dot edge should be equal dot left and I say view dot add gesture recognizer will be our screen Edge recognizer. Okay, so uh, for function, uh, I'll go to uh, previous function, the previous project I, which I did before. I copy paste from there. This is a function of our table. I will talk about this uh, later. Also, here I need to fix this like this. So it says, uh, you know, calling uh, my function. Let's double check. Yeah, I copy this.
Okay, so uh, image view, why we got error there? View image, yes. <laughs> Uh, I name it uh, view image and here was image view so I said view image I say view image and it should be fine now uh, so let's uh, run it to see if there anything is fine yeah so uh, let's talk about it again so we can connect uh, one image to our screen and uh, to our view controller and uh, uh, name it view image also we add instance uh, from uh, UI screen edge uh, gesture and uh, also uh, we make a current radius uh, variable as well then in our view did load we just uh, add to the our screen that's uh, uh, Mm, UI screen edge pan gesture and we said if uh, you observe something some gesture like this uh, trigger uh, rotate ball from view controller and uh, also uh, we need to uh, we, and I say you know a screen edge left so I said from left uh, if you detect this you can say from top uh, right button whatever and also add gesture recognizer to uh, you know to uh, to view we add add gesture recognizer for this uh, screen edge recognizer and for rotate ball uh, it's easy we just say if uh, you uh, you know you got uh, from sender ui screen edge pan uh, you know pan gesture recognizer you just need to uh, if it was ended, status was ended, so then you need just change uh, current radius. Uh, but uh, to make it, um, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, feel better for actually more sensible for uh, users, we add animation with duration. Uh, we add this animation with duration. Uh, one second okay so now we have our uh, project build and uh, run in our simulator so what I do I just uh, drag from left to the ball and uh, see if it's uh, rotate or not yes uh, here you go so you will see that with uh, V detect pan gesture recognizer from left to our ball and then uh, when we detect that uh, v through your rotation ball and we rotate it so yeah that's it uh, for today i hope you like the video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe uh, if you are not uh, yet uh, for more videos which are coming every day and uh, that's it have a good one and also any question uh, leave it in comments and uh, also you can find source code to the project uh, in comments as well uh, and bye bye